हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर फिगर ए शोस द वोल्टेज डिवाइड बाय अ एम्पलीफायर व्हिच विल एक्ट एज क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर फॉर अ क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर द कलेक्टेड करंट फ्लोस थ्रूआउट द साइकिल which means will not be having any clipping in the output current will get output current for entire 360 degree since the q point is at the center of the load line will get entire waveform at the output without any clipping now let us discuss a few equations that are useful in analysis of power amplifier first one is power gain along with voltage gain amplifier has also power gain so we can define power gain as ap is equal to p out divided by p in so power gain is equal to the ac output power divided by the ac input power for example if the output power is equal to 10 milliwatt and input power is equal to 10 microwatt then the power gain can be given as 10 milliwatt divided by 10 microwatt so that will be equal to 1000 so if an amplifier is having the output power as 10 milliwatt and input power as 10 microwatt then the power gain of an amplifier will be 1000 times now let us understand output power if we measure the output voltage in terms of rms then the output power can be given as p out is equal to v rms square divided by rl so this is the output power in terms of rms output voltage if we measure the output voltage in terms of peak to peak voltage then we can write output power p out will be equal to v out square divided by 8 rl so this is the output power in terms of output voltage measured in peak to peak voltage since peak to peak output voltage can be written as 2 root to v rms so from this we can get v rms is equal to v out divided by 2 root 2 so if we square the above equation we will get v rms square is equal to v out square divided by 2 root 2 square if we square this 2 root 2 we will get 8 so in this equation if we substitute v rms square as v out square divided by 8 we will get v out square divided by 8 rl the class a power amplifier will produce the maximum output power when it is producing the maximum peak to peak output voltage so for a maximum peak to peak voltage the output voltage will be equal to maximum peak to peak so we can write output power is equal to maximum peak to peak square divided by 8 rl so this is the equation for maximum output power in terms of maximum peak to peak voltage now let us understand transistor power dissipation So transistor power dissipation at quiescent point can be written as VCEQ multiplied by ICQ. So the power dissipated by the transistor at Q point will be equal to VCE value at Q point and IC value at Q point. So this is the power dissipation when there is no signal. When the signal is present. the power dissipation of the transistor decreases because it converts some of the quiescent power to signal power 
Now let us understand current drain. The DC voltage source that is connected to an amplifier has to supply DC current to the amplifier. This DC current has two components. First one is biasing current through the voltage divider and the collector current through the transistor. So this DC current is called as current drain. So the current drain is the DC current. Next is efficiency. The efficiency of an amplifier can be given as output power divided by input power. So here in case of power amplifier, the input power is DC power. That's why we can write it as PDC. That will be multiplied with 100 to get the efficiency in terms of percentage. For a class A power amplifier, the efficiency is 25%. So for a class A power amplifier, the efficiency is 25%, which is very low. This is about class A power amplifier. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.